Hello! Have you ever heard of Omyodo, an esoteric lifestyle discipline that was very popular in ancient Japan? Omyo means yin and yang, and Do means a way or philosophy. So, Omyodo can be translated as a way of yin and yang, and it can be understood as a way of seeking harmony between darkness and brightness. Omyodo was inspired by Chinese civilization. Japanese people transformed this lifestyle discipline into a Japanese style by adding several factors or in deleting others as they did with various matters of Chinese origins. In the Heian period, the way of yin and yang, as well as the practice to be sensitive to the spirits of the five elements, were practiced by Omyoji, priest-like persons of Omyodo, who had the ability to read the future of noble families, such as the imperial family, to announce good or bad news, or to advise on the best orientation to build a house, or direction to go on a trip, etc. These Omyodo priests were in particular demanded by people of high society in Kyoto, Japan's capital, and the city of the Imperial Palace at the time. In this unit, we will learn about several historical contexts of Omyodo in order to understand its origin and how it worked and influenced people's lives in the Heian period. We can also observe that Omyodo, this traditional Japanese know-how for living more comfortably in one's environment, still remains in the Japanese people's daily life today even though this practice, being considered as a superstition, was forbidden by the Meiji government in the 19th century. Omyodo is not a religion, but a group of beliefs inspired by Chinese traditional ways of thinking and observation of nature, such as astronomy, science of directions, and the thought of clairvoyance. When a natural disaster such as flood, a fire, an earthquake, or drought, affected the quality of people's life, Chinese people thought this was a sign which pointed to a problem in the way the leader ruled the country. Thus, Chinese intellectuals aimed to understand and to analyze how and when it would happen in order to prevent any negative consequence of these natural disasters. The practice of Chinese astrology came to Japan in the 7th century CE. Curiously, in a similar situation, Japanese people tended to interpret natural disaster as an incarnation of the anger of hate of the spirits of the dead, and not as a sign of bad political organization by the leader of the country. The Japanese interpretation of the way of yin and yang includes how to understand an abnormal natural event or a tragic family context, for example, an illness of the emperor's spouse, and how to react against it. If the Chinese way of dealing with natural disaster is an analytical approach, then the Japanese way is an emotional one. In the Heian period, in the capital, the nobility were constantly under huge pressure to obtain social and political legitimacy, to be stronger than their rivals, to defend, them, defend themselves from others' jealousy. In order, to, in order to succeed in one's in ambition or to keep what had been painstakingly abstained, people of high society became, became more and more superstitious always having some hidden agenda to survive in this particular social environment. In this context, princes, loyal public servants, or the emperor's advisors became victims of others' ambition in a way that was often unjustified, in other words, accused for a sin that the person had never committed, and they died in humiliating situations, alone and misunderstood by their families and friends so, novels imagine that the spirits of these tragic heroes and heroines, strengthened by their anger and hate, were able to become a supernatural force to threaten the subpopulation. Kyoto's nobility in this period were almost all involved in one or several political plots, 
so they were always afraid of the consequences of their unjust behavior. This is why Omiodo priest was summoned by the family to read the, their future and prevent tragic events. In order to prevent these future catastrophes, the priest held ceremonies, advised them to build a shrine, a temple, and a specific orientation to appease these angry spirits. When Omiodo priest, in response to what they saw as a sign of the future, recommended building a monument to appease the angry spirit. They were particularly careful about the appropriate orientation in which it should be built. The objective of all these ceremonies was to prevent, stop, and to calm, if possible, the dark power, the dark power of the spirits in question. In Omiodo and the practice of the five elements, certain directions, the most important was the northeast from the imperial palace, were believed to be ominous bringing a bad wind to the environment. Hence, people thought that in building a gate or religious monument in these directions, they could change the bad wind's trajectory or a demon's trajectory, and as a result, they could be protected. This is why the direction northeast from the Imperial Palace in Kyoto was called Demon's Gate. In Japanese, Kimon, the gate from which the spirit of dead people was thought to come to the city. The notion of the demon's gate remains a custom in Japanese. When people um, build a new house or building, they pay special attention to the direction their house will face. Exactly as in the Heian period in Kyoto, it is strictly taboo to build a bedroom, a toilet, a kitchen or bathroom facing northeast as seen from the center of the house. In the next video, we'll discover how the noble people in the Heian period tried to live almost normally despite these forbidden directions. Mm -hmm.